So apparently sometime in January, I missed a Tone Studio update. I didn't get an email, a memo. I had just been rolling with 2.0, and it was brought to my attention by a commenter, Kevin McGinnis, that, uh, that there's a new version out, and you can set the functions to whatever you want. Now, I checked it out. I downloaded it. I was like, holy crap, how did I miss this? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it's not in my original how-to manuals of everything I did, so this is going to be a quick video to show you what's in it. So if you go up to the system settings, you'll see two new controls right here. You got the GAFC setting and the power control setting. Now the power control only applies to the artist Mark II and artist Mark II head. If you don't have one of those, then that doesn't apply to you. But what that is, it's when you have the uh, selector, the power selector in the 50 watt position, you can control how much actual power is going to that thing. So that's pretty cool. Then with the GAFC setting, now normally on the GAFC, I think you have to long press these buttons in order to get to the, like the, the function or the sub effect as I like to call it. Now with the GAFC, you just have the function button, you long press that until it blinks red, and then you have all these to access, just hit them on or off, you don't have to long press them. Now these are the default, you got your booster solo on and off, pedal effects on and off, your loop on and off, delay tap one and tap two. Now if you wanna change things up, you just got that drop down menu and you choose whatever you want that button to be and you just got to remember what it is in your head or make little labels and put it on your GAFC. It's cool. I like it just the way it is, but I like these extra functions and let me show them to you. I'm going to put them right on the end here. You have global EQ on and off. So let's sele select that one. We'll go over here. Let's say I want the red one. Now I got it set to the tap two button or the panel button. And I can turn that global EQ on and off. But you have to make sure you got whichever one selected that you want to be able to turn it on and off. It doesn't cycle through them. So let's go back over to our system. And then, so not only is the booster solo, you can actually put the regular solo on and off. So let's check that one out. See, it's turning on right there. Turn it on, off, on, off. And there's another setting in here if you have the artist and I'll show you that in a second. Now the other two settings in here are the EQs. You got your EQ1 and EQ2 so if you got like a uh, like a parametric EQ setting you want to turn on or off you can do that or even the uh, the GE10 on or off in one of those. So let's uh let's test that one out. That one's on off, on, off. So pretty cool. It's uh, It just adds more simple functionality. And then we can get into the complicated stuff. So if you got the GFC or GFC EX, you can kind of configure it however you want, within reason. Now if you go over to Assign, now you've got the GAFC and the expanded GAFC. It wasn't bad enough that you had the GAFC with three expression pedals. Now you've got the expanded GAFC with three more expression pedals and your other functionality of your foot switches over here. Foot switch one, foot switch two, so on and so forth. I'm not going to make a video explaining all that because A, I don't have the regular GAFC anymore. I just held on to the EX because I didn't need two of them. And two, it's just, it's just too much work going through all these again. It's, it's not rocket science. I did a short video on how to assign expression pedals if you want to check that out. It's within the playlist that this one is also in. And then over here, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but you've got knob functionality. Now, you can change the preset knobs. Let's say your, your booster knob, normally it's on a preset, and if you turned it on the panel, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pretty much just control, I think it's the effects level is the preset, but you can change it so it changes the tone so on and so forth it's it's pretty convoluted if you ask me it's just adding so much function in there that i mean are you going to remember every little bit of the function that you set it's going to be tough now let's look at the manual and see what the manual says they added so this is part of the manual for version 2.1 now where it says it, what it's added a new functions added the katana 50 mark 2 ex and katana artist mark 2 are now supported I didn't know they weren't supported. 
For artists and artists had only, you're going to have solo delay added. So if we went back to Tone Studio and if you had the artist over in solo, you'd have a whole other panel over here. I don't know why they couldn't add that to every other amp. It doesn't make any sense to me why it can't be added to every other amp. Maybe it's just an incentive to buy the artist or artist head, which would only make sense. I mean, if they make everything just as good as the artist, why would you buy the artist for the speaker? Because that artist was a speaker is awesome. Back over to the manual. Here it explains the power control has been added to the system settings and 50 watt half position output can be adjusted. Now if we go back over to this side, for us peasants that don't have the artist, functions added in version 2.01. I don't know why it says that, but the GAF CEX controller can now be used in all models except 50 Mark II. You already knew that probably. And you can now configure functions to control with an expression pedal and it just shows you all the different expanded features that I just already showed you and then it shows you the basic GFC so that about wraps it up I just wanted to give you a quick update because this part is not in my bigger manual or my playlist and I just discovered it myself so I'm going to play around with it a little more and get familiar with it and see if I can make any use of it because a lot of these functions I don't even use a lot of functions a lot of people don't use but it is what it is. I mean, it's great to have these functions for if you do need them, even if you don't need them. I, I don't know if I'm making sense right now. I'm kind of trailing off. We'll see you next time.